I posted a video yesterday of a silent unboxing review, uh, nothing special. Uh, but someone in the, in the comments yesterday asked if I could do an R20 test. So I'll be doing a few tests uh, with it plugged in and unplugged so you guys can see the results. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point it out, that being this is my fourth uh, Dell XPS, is that um, even though it's a little bit smaller than the previous version, it is much heavier. And you know, if you look here, you'll see other re reviews that will talk about how this, this laptop is truly milled out out of a block of aluminum. And <clears throat> it really makes a difference when you see the previous one where you, you kind of have that layer of plastic and you, you kind of have a top cap of aluminum and a bottom cap. Um, <clears throat> but the build quality is so much better. And it just, it feels nice. The weight, <clears throat> the way the hinge operates and functions, it is just, it is way better than the two previous models. And I, when I got this, I wasn't really that excited. It was nice to get a laptop upgrade, but this is almost like just getting the new, you know, iPhone when it came out or the, you know, the first smartphone. It just, it just, it is so much different and I just, I do really appreciate the, the design and the build quality that Dell put into this laptop. It really, it really makes a difference. And, and I think it's going to hold up more with, with travel and, and kind of getting banged around a little bit. I actually dropped this laptop on the carpet, unfortunately, about two to three months in of getting it. And the hinge even wore out. And see, it's even hard to kind of open with one hand here. Um, even busted the hinge just recently, just opening it, which I'm sure dropping it weakened it. Um, but this model is just so much nicer. And if you're thinking about getting a Windows laptop, I would <clears throat> strongly um, check this thing out. Even the Dell XPS, I bought one of those for someone else. And um, I was actually thinking of <coughs> actually getting that one. But uh, when these guys were released and with the specs that they were offering, I, I, I went to go this route, especially since it's a little bit smaller. But I just wanted to point that out. Um, you really feel that you're getting your money's worth. Um, and um, again, I just really appreciate how much aluminum there is. Uh, but uh, with that, we'll go into the test here. All right, so let's get this guy open. All right, so I'm going to do a couple tests with it plugged in, and then I'll plug it in and see if there's a difference here. Let's run the test. The fans kind of speed it up. So thirty six fifty nine. Sorry, it's not focusing here. So 36.59, while the fans are up, let's run it one more time. So 
So a little bit lower. Um, all right, well, let's do it with a couple more tests uh, unplugged. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have you here watching the photo get rendered because you're busy and you got, you know, time is valuable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unplug it here. I'll start the test and then I'll just give you uh, two results. All right, so the test came out to 3057 with the laptop unplugged using the battery. What we're gonna do is we are going to drop to power mode to battery saver and see if that makes a difference. So on uh, battery saver mode, came out to 3355, doesn't really make a difference. I'm just kind of messing around. Anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful for those who are interested. I uh, hope you guys have a great day and um, take care.